you know, wonderful Valentine's Day, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Sounds like India wasn't feeling what Dirk was talking about, huh? What's the deal, man? How y'all feeling? I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Spenzo. That's gonna be on another one. Uh, Boss Top. But uh, let me see. Let me check my palm palette. There's a lot going on. I guess Dirk has said something about India on on the on uh, on Instagram, telling him Happy Valentine's Day, and you know he's thankful that she made him a man and made him the person he is, and then she say. People who really do not respect boundaries at all. I try my best to to be respectful and not put on a show, but people don't respect my choices. Let it go. I don't think, I don't think, uh, cause people talking about, oh, that's uh, like, it, like it's not real. I think it's real. When me and 051 drill are dropping, Never. But this is this. You gotta understand this, bro. This is what I'm getting to. Some people, you just gotta be able to see through it. He might feel like, yeah, she played a big role in his life for doing whatever's going on. But when he first got with her, he first got with her like her other baby daddies, all of them, all them guys was coming out saying stuff about her. You know what I'm saying? She from out west Chicago. So, and you should be, stay off my page if you don't like what's going on. Then you got Money Duke, clapping D thing, baby mama. You know, I ain't no loyalty, man. Hey, come on, man. You know, all I'm saying is this. Dude, do y'all think she was around being genuine? Or was she playing her role until she got to where she needed to get to? At the end of the day, he's saying all that. But he made her. She got millions of followers. He started a makeup line. She got a baby out of him. And then all of a sudden, he just proposed to her. Asked her to marry him. Now she gone. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not adding up to me. I feel like people be around, some people be in your life, bro, to be a hitter and tender. You feel me? You don't, you don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like she was one of them people, bro. Like, at the end of the day, how much Dirk could have been doing. At the end of the day, you knew you, what you was getting yourself into messing with a superstar nigga. And that's just facts. You knew what type of what was going on already? You knew that he was a little dirt. So, you know what I'm saying? Fuck to what she needs a GD anyway. But I'm being honest, I'm just keeping it real. Then look what's going on. She on there wishing NBA young boy son happy birthday. So it's like, is that being spiteful? Or is that being like, or you was homies with his baby mama the whole time? Let's get them likes up, man. Let's get them likes up, man. He can't diss me because I'm telling the truth. How you gonna diss me for speaking facts or reality? And I'm not even bashing him. I'm just letting him know. Like, I won't speak and uh, speak my mind. Yellow is the uh -huh. You said what? Yeah, yeah. I just feel like in my heart, I don't think it was genuine, you know. It was a good look, but, you know. Look how easy she just slid on him after he proposed.
Yeah, because you can't say a lot of stuff you can't say. He can't block me on here. What are you going to say? Block me on YouTube? He can't do that. He can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest, bro. Hundred thirty nine people, thirty seven likes. Not like that, but ain't never perfect. Me and Lenny trip all the time, but she ain't never really walked out on me and turned her back on me like that. You know what I'm saying? Might talk crazy, you know, get mad. Da -da 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 -da. I just feel like. She used food as a stepping stool, you know, stepping stone to get to the next level in life. And once she figured it out, she got on. No matter what, sometimes in life, you gotta have a forgiving heart. You know what I'm saying? Especially, ain't nobody 19, 18, like, I mean, some of y'all is, but like, 30 plus and all that. At that point in your life, you looking for somebody that you can grow with, you know, grow old with, you know what I'm saying? Have a lot of kids, whatever, you know, have grandkids and raise them. That's what's wrong with the world now. It's too much, everybody all over the place. Can't keep up, you know what I'm saying? Baby mama's over here, baby dad. That's just what it is. So, but it gotta be a time in your life where you stop. And just say, fuck it. Sometimes you gotta just, you know, man, we just gonna ride till the wheels fall off, man. You know what I'm saying? Because even, even, even if you don't, cause my mama been with her husband for so long, man. No matter what, sometimes they don't make it. It's not even, you get to a point where it's not about you anymore. It's not about you and your significant other. It's about that child. It's about, Okay, if I leave and his daddy over there and he over there, if you already been through and you see how you messed your other kids up or whatever, or see how it just, the separation just messed things up, you will want to just keep, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Because that's what my mom was like, fuck it. Like, no matter what, okay, I'll get mad at my husband. Woo -woo -woo. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over there. And all honesty, man, I grew up in the house. I'm in the house. My grandma and my grandpa, I never saw them sleep in the bed together. Ever. Ever. So that lets you know. And they were old already. This is my great-grandparent. I never saw them sleep in the bed together. My grandpa had his own room. My grandma had her own room. And that's kind of weird. But, who you know. And they still was in love. I don't know what was going on. I, maybe at that point they were just old enough, you know, wasn't no um no sex or nothing going on. You know what I'm saying? But that was hey sugar, I love you.